The Republican-controlled U.S. House of Representatives, on Tuesday, February 13, narrowly voted to impeach Democratic President Joe Biden's top border official, accusing him of lax policies that encourage illegal immigration, making him the first cabinet secretary to be impeached in nearly 150 years. By a vote of 214 to 213, the House approved two articles of impeachment accusing Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas of not enforcing U.S. immigration laws, which Republicans argue led to record flows of migrants across the U.S.-Mexico border and making false statements to Congress. It came a week after a similar vote failed in the legislative defeat for Speaker Mike Johnson. Republican Representative Steve Scalise, who had been receiving treatment for cancer, was not present for last week's vote, but returned to Washington this week, providing a crucial vote. But it is highly unlikely that the Democratic majority Senate will vote to oust Mayorkas. A record number of migrants have illegally crossed the border from Mexico since Biden took office in 2021. And former President Donald Trump has made it a major focus of his campaign against Biden. Mayorkas has said he does not bear responsibility for the border situation, blaming it instead on a broken U.S. immigration system that Congress has not been able to fix. Constitutional experts and even some Republicans and have said the House investigation of Mayorkas failed to provide evidence of the high crimes and misdemeanors that the U.S. Constitution cites as reasons for impeachment. Instead, they cast the fight as merely policy disputes. The number of migrants arrested crossing the southern border illegally dropped by 50% in January from high levels in December. U.S. Customs and Border Protection said on Tuesday, citing seasonal trends and increased enforcement by the United States and partner countries. The Department of Homeland Security In a memo released on Tuesday, defended Mayorkas' enforcement at the border and called on Congress to work with the Biden administration to reform outdated laws instead of facilitating this fuss of an impeachment. Tuesday's vote comes a week after hardline Republicans in the Senate, egg on by Trump, defeated a bipartisan deal to address border security that would have been the most sweeping border security policy change in decades. According to its supporters, including Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell, House Republicans are largely in this fight to secure our national borders all by ourselves, Republican Representative John Rose said on Tuesday. Essentially, Democrats like the job he's doing, or should I say, not doing, Rose said, arguing for Mayorkas' impeachment. Republicans hold a slim 219 to 212 majority in the House. Trump was twice impeached by the House when Democrats held the majority and was twice acquitted by the Senate, which was in Republican hands. Impeachment is meant to be in response to treason and other high crimes and misdemeanors. According to the Constitution, Ken Buck, one of three Republicans, voted no in last week's vote, called the move against Mayorkas a stunt, while fellow rebel Mike Gallagher said it would create a new, lower standard for the sanction and pry open the Pandora's box of perpetual impeachment. Twenty-five legal experts called the push utterly unjustified in an open letter and were echoed by constitutional scholars who have spoken in Congress against Donald Trump's impeachments, including Jonathan Turley and Alan Dershowitz. House Democrats will vote in unison against the impeachment, which is vehemently opposed by the White House and the Department of Homeland Security DHS. While House Republicans waste time with political games, Secretary Mayorkas is enforcing our laws and working to keep America safe, said a memo released by the Department of Homeland Security on Tuesday. Members of Congress serious about those efforts should work with the administration, 
by fixing our nation's broken immigration laws and properly resourcing the department's vital missions, instead of facilitating this fuss of an impeachment. If the vote goes against Mayorkas, the Senate would be compelled to at least open a trial, although it could vote to dismiss the articles, dissolve the trial or refer the articles to a committee.